Sports parents, here are five ways to help your kid have a better sports career. Number one, do your homework. Try to be as informed as you can. You know, I'm a baseball guy, but if I have a kid who plays gymnastics or golf, I'm gonna have to do a lot of homework. So spend some time on YouTube, read as much as you can, ask around, try to be as informed as you can so you have an idea of their career arc and the things that you can do to help them practice. Number two, be a cheerleader first and foremost. They're gonna have coaches, they're gonna have all the other support staff that are gonna help them become better athletes. What they really need from you is someone to be their cheerleader, someone to be there for them when they play really poorly and to make sure that they understand that they matter to you, whether they're good at their sport or they're not that good at their sport. Ultimately, they're not all gonna go pro or D1 or play in college at all. So if it's always about achievement from you, or you're always reinforcing good game versus bad game, it's gonna make it harder for them to feel whole. Number three, let them push the cart. So they might not work as hard as you think they should, and obviously we all want our kids, or the kids we coach, to put in a lot of work and get what they ultimately you know, might achieve and tap into their potential. And we can see as adults when kids aren't really tapping into their potential. But that being said, they might not wanna make this their job. They might not wanna practice every day. And that's okay too. So let your kids push the cart. If you wanna inspire them, get other people in front of them, get coaches, former players, put them on teams with really motivated teammates, find other ways to inspire them to work harder, but let them push the cart. Number four, put your kid with other like-minded kids and put them in places where they're gonna be pushed by their teammates. So this is really important. You learn a ton from your teammates, including how they conduct themselves, how hard they work, their practice habits. Sometimes you just don't know as an athlete what's possible or what's acceptable or what's normal and routine until you see someone else do it. I learned so much from teammates at every higher level that I got to. When I got to college, I was like, oh wow, this is how college pitchers, how they prepare for a game, how they practice, how they conduct themselves. And I brought myself up to that level. So try to find places to put your kids with others who have maybe a little bit bigger goals, but are also similar in mind. And number five, preach accountability and love for their sport. If they love their sport, they're gonna be more motivated to work hard. So make it fun, do everything you can to reinforce the fact that they should enjoy what they're doing and that you're here to help them with that goal. And also preach accountability. When they're blaming other people for why they didn't play well, whether it's their teammates, coaches, or umpires, or referees, it's always gonna set themselves up for being that adult one day who blames other people instead of looking in, inward themselves so they can grow and change and do better. So definitely preach accountability, stay away from the blame game if they don't play well. I know that's tempting to do that because you wanna help them feel better, but don't do it. Help them find things that they can improve on from within. So hopefully those five tips are helpful. It's tough being a sports parent. I know you wanna see your kids succeed really, really badly, but ultimately you have to let them go and do their thing and just try to put them in the best position you can to succeed. If you're new here, check out my books, online courses, and follow me here on social media, and I'll see you here in the next video.